Oh my God, something huge is happening at Manchester United. Just now, I was working on a video about Cristiano Ronaldo. Apparently, he's not in Eric Ten Hag's plans for next season. But as I was writing my script, taking my notes, news broke out that Nemanja Matic will not be in Manchester United next season. And that's officially confirmed. So, listen everyone. This season is going to be completely different to what we've been used to from Manchester United the past 10 years. I'm a firm believer that Richard Arnold is going to do things completely differently to how Ed Woodward used to do them. I believe that he's an executive who understands the power of delegation. And with people like Darren Fletcher, John Murtho, Ralph Ragnick and Eric Ten Hag, that's a dream team of football people. So why wouldn't you delegate football matters to them? And it seems that he's actually willing, actually eager to do that because for, for the past 10 years, Ed Woodward has always been the one conducting manager interviews. But this time, Eric Ten Hag's interview was conducted by Darren Fletcher and John Murthal. So that means that there is a change in the approach that the executives are taking at Manchester United, spearheaded by Richard Arnold. Ralph Ragnick knows that the only way the next manager can succeed is if we get rid of the Deadwood and replace them with young, energetic, passionate, hardworking players. And so players like Nemanja Matic and Cristiano Ronaldo don't have a future at Manchester United. But this could also mean uh, far more departures than we thought would happen in the first place. For example, think of players like Phil Jones, Eric Bailly and Anthony Martial. Even though their contracts don't expire this season, you can be sure that Ralph Ragnick and John Murtho will do their best to actually sell them. I believe that players like Bailly and Martial can definitely be sold, uh, maybe not um, at the fees that we bought them for, but definitely we could get 20, 25 million for Martial and about 12, 15 million for Bailly, which is not bad. But we need to move on the Deadwood and then replace them either by transfers or people from the academy. Players like Alejandro Garnacho, Alvaro Fernandez, uh, Isaac Hansen, uh, Charlie McNeil. All of these are players who are waiting in the wings and ready to actually play a role in the first team next season. Also, more importantly, it means that Paul Pogba will not be given a new contract. Adieu, mon ami. Come on. I'm so happy right now. I'm so excited. There is plenty of reason to be excited um, as a Manchester United fan right now. Uh, if you agree or disagree with me, please make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below and cheers.